What is good, everybody? Welcome to Daily Hip Hop Live. Thank you very much for tuning in live. And if you want to check us live, we go live between 8 and 9 p.m. every night, and you can come live in the chat room. Okay, well, let's get to the first story. First story is we got Taxstone. He's in jail, um, and he's very... He's trying to get out. He had his judge... Oh, I mean, sorry, his lawyer write the judge a letter pleading, let me out of jail. Why do I not have a bail? You know, he's being charged with having a weapon and interstate weapons distribution. or That's how we got the gun, something like that. He's not being charged with murder yet or anything like that. Troy Ave is being charged with attempted murder. But Tax Stone is saying, hey, I'm not the bad guy here in the letter. He's saying Troy Ave is the bad guy. So, like... This is a guy who claims to come from the street, and we have to take that into perspective. He comes from the street, and he's supposed to leave, live by street code, correct? So, is this right? Like, that's the, that's the question. Like, you know, I saw other people commenting on it, and they were like, eh, this is kind of like thin line between snitching. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just a civilian, but, you know... Hey, I, 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 Troy Ave sat down for a few months until he got his bail figured out. They didn't let him out for a while. But, hey, that's what that is. But, uh, anyways, then we got, uh, well, yeah, and Kendrick Lamar's album came out, damn. Um, but I didn't get a chance to listen to the whole thing yet, so I don't even want to discuss it yet because I don't want to tell you guys my opinion on something I didn't fully digest yet. I don't think that's fair to Kendrick Lamar, who works very hard on his albums. I'm not going to just, you know, I'll, I'll do a thorough report over the weekend, though. I promise you guys we can have a little chat about it over the weekend maybe we'll go live tomorrow or the next day and we'll take calls that'll be cool um heron hernandez remember him he played for the patriots and he's in jail for murder actually but he there was like tons of like there was a double homicide in 2012 then another homicide in 2015 well he was found not guilty of the 2012 double homicide of daniel abru and safirio furtado um the jury deliberated uh, for about you know two days, uh, and uh, after of course it's six days, and I uh, found him not guilty uh, for for this afternoon. So he's free. Well, no, he's, he's not free. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's still serving a life sentence, but he doesn't have those other murders on his uh, rap sheet now. Uh, prosecutors have claimed that Hernandez committed a drive-by shooting on two victims in 2012. I mean, this guy's a savage. Uh, then after one of them accidentally spilled a drink on him at a Boston nightclub. After one of them accidentally spilled a drink on him at a Boston nightclub earlier that night. I mean, it's not funny. It's just crazy to read that. Uh, and they, uh, let's see, Hernandez was only found guilty on one lesser charge, illegal possession of a firearm, and was sentenced to serve between four and five years in prison for that conviction. conviction. But... He's already serving a life sentence for the 2015 murder of Olden Lloyd. Now, uh, I also reported earlier, Jay Prince, um, he's Jazz Prince, uh, who's his son, found Drake, brought him to Little Wayne. Well, Jay Prince vowed that he would help Little Wayne and he would give Birdman an offer he can't refuse. So he is officially saying he will step in to the whole Lil Wayne, Birdman debacle. We know that Lil Wayne signed to Rock Nation management. Um, he announced that. He did title a few months ago. We thought he was signing to the label uh, of Rock Nation, but that doesn't seem to be so yet. But I'm sure Jay-Z and his management team will help and assist Lil Wayne out of his bad situ situation that he's currently in. Um, we do know that uh, uh, Trump dropped some, uh, some things over there in Afghanistan to kill some ISIS members. It's a little scary. It was a big, big weapon that they dropped, and it was it was horrible. But, uh, you know, this is what, when we're fighting terrorism, I guess that's what the thing. So there's a rumor going around that Apple is preparing to buy Disney for more than $200 billion. Okay, uh... This is a report from a RBC Capital Market Analyst, if you want to look that up. Um, investors have increased their expectations that Apple could seriously consider acquiring Disney. Uh, the, the report says ballpark figure would be, be 
billion. <laughs> and uh, result, the company could be worth one trillion afterwards. Damn. Apple worth one trillion? A trillion? A trillion? <laughs> then uh, we got these Peter Rosenberg jumped out the window this morning. I don't know how you can digest an album and then say Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper ever after listening to an album two times. I don't think that's fair. But uh, I think Nas is the best rapper alive, but I think Kendrick is up there. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything. Uh, I'm not saying anything about that. But uh, then we got, uh, geez, Drake's More Life surpasses 1 billion streams online. Congratulations to him. Uh, we got, uh, what's going on? Teen found guilty of, oh gosh. Um, who else do we got going on here? We have Little Yachty's been going around. He has a new song out with, um, with the Migos called Peekaboo. He has a little club hit going on. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, I don't know. Troy Ave's going around with his Tupac thing still. I think he dropped Dope Boy Troy today. If I'm not mistaken, and then New Pac comes in a week or two. If I'm, if I'm, yeah, I hope I'm uh, right about that. But uh, I don't know. Then Tory Lanes uh, report. He's saying that don't believe, only believe a half of what you hear. Okay, well, you were reported to be arrested for weed and guns. So which one was it, weed or guns? Because uh, one of those you were arrested for. You said believe half of what we hear. So that's that's half of it right there, right? Oh, a big announcement in Canadian, uh, in Canadian, the Canadian Prime Minister announced for Canada, I'm sorry, I've got my words twisted, and introduces a bill to legalize recreational marijuana. Okay, so, you know, marijuana is getting closer and closer to being completely legal everywhere. Um, we got Playboy Cardi dropping self-titled mixtape, Are You Feeling It? Okay, we'll have to check that out. Um... Title or excuse will be, oh my gosh. There's a lot going on. Um, what else is going on out here? There's a lot of like little things going on. Um, I'm trying to find something else to tell you guys. Because, you know, it, the news was, was a little spooky today. Like Kendrick Lamar pretty much took up every, all the news stuff going on. Uh, it looks like uh, Kobe Bryant partners with Nike for Youth Basketball Mamba League. That's a great, you know, the youth needs their, you know, something to, you know, he needs something. It's like giving back to his community, so that'll be great. Um, Warriors released, you know, conflict between the world. Okay, damn, we got, I think that's it, guys. You know, there's not a lot, man. Um, you know, we got, we, I got to digest that um, Kendrick Lamar album. Um, again, let's say, Rest in peace to Charlie Murphy. Um, that was a unexpected loss this week. I didn't know he was so sick. Uh, but great comedian. Um, loved him on the Chappelle Show and all the movies he was in and everything. It was great. Um, let's see. Let me get to the room and talk to you guys for a little bit before we get out of here. Uh, we got DC Williams, G Fish, Miley Love. What's good? Cylon Wiley, Killer Fuse Vibe Music, All Mine, What's Good, DC Williams, Zachary. Uh, I'm going to try something different for the next um, week or so. The live broadcast will be 10 to 15 minutes long, just, to, just so we're not losing people halfway into the broadcast, because I noticed the audience retention has been really low. Um, and that's really bad for the videos overall. And I know you guys care about me and you care about the channel. So we got to figure that out. But if you guys do do super chats and stuff, I'll stay longer. I promise you. And, uh, I promise you over the weekend, we'll do longer broadcasts. I just won't save them. They'll just be one time shots. Okay. But during the week, I'm going to make sure all these broadcasts are logged in so you can rewatch them. Cause I know some of you guys are busy and you can't catch them. Um, Santana Factor, do I smoke Kush? No, I don't. Alabama in the house. Alan Wiley. Michael Thornton, what's good? Looking for the truth. Um, do you, do you promote his <laughs> You're right, looking for the truth. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Zachary, what's good? DC Williams, all mine. 
Marcus Rose. And guys, if you're wondering, hey, how do I catch this chat? So I see somebody saying that sometimes. We go live between 8 and 9 o'clock at night for sure. And make sure you click the bell next to subscribe. That'll make sure that you know that we're live, okay? So that's you know it's very important. KTC Throwbacks was good. Ocean Shark, Righteous One. Um, she subscribed to the channel. Uh, so let's see. <clears throat> B Pump. B Pumper. Make sure you go check that Brian Pumper interview. That was really good the other day. It's on my channel. Things Change 12. Do a Wendy Day interview and ask her about recent Tupac news. Oh, yeah, that's a good That's a good one. I'll, I will do that next week because she's on the road right now. Andre Valentine, Zachary, His Royal Flyness, Miley Love, That Boy Young, His Royal Flyness, uh, All on Wiley, Andre, All Mine, Gigi, DC Williams, Beast of Reese, DC Williams, uh, Head Honcho, Cash Pod G. Uh, GG, Cash G, Killer Fuse Vibe Music, Leo Mabry. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. All right, Little Rocker. This shit is whack today. Really, Little Rocker? What's wrong? What's whack today, Little Rocker? D Block, what's good? Right, just one. Real Product, Zachary, Marcus Ross. Lively Boy, Fabian Mobley, DC William, Vibes Music, DC Williams, Alexander the Gift, DMV Raider 86, Jay Buckets, Righteous One, Zachary S, Alon Wiley, Alabama in the House, was good. Top Cat, BX Dragon Lou, P Capes, She Diaries, Look for the Truth. Okay, Stax AK Snowman. Street Glory, DMV Rare 86, Righteous One. Uh, Zachary S, DC Williams, Little Rocker, DC Stone. Oh, yeah, DC, stop, stop, stop going in on Little Rocker. That's the home, you know, that's, that's the homie, man. Let her, let her live, man. She's part of the family, man. What's good, JT? Tuan from Boston, Net Pay, what's good? Uh, Street Glory. And Smidget, Rodney, uh, Zachary. If you guys always come in here, and you guys are in here, and you guys are fam, respect the other fam, man. Come on. Cracking the Megs, JT Salute. King, King Kyokin. That's true. That's true, man. Be pumper, be cracking the Megs. Alexander the Gift, what's good, homie? Ocean Shark Tours, Jesus, man, down gamer channel. Tell what Jackson. All right, guys, we out of here. As I said, we keep it between 10 and 15 minutes, okay? That's the new thing because it's some algorithm, so we got to do it. So let's do it. Um, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. This show is amazing. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you super chat when you can. I appreciate you. Good. Mo TV, I see you. QB, you got it. What's good? Um, anyways, we're ending the show. I appreciate you. I'll check you tomorrow. As always, live every day. I love you guys. This show is yours just as much as it is mine. And I appreciate you guys coming in so much. Make sure you click the bell for notifications next to subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. I appreciate you guys. Peace.